G'day, this is Scotty Tucker from Clearwater Lakes and Ponds and uh, sitting here again with uh, Bob Lusk, editor of Pond Boss magazine. And uh, Bob, today we just want to have a chat about uh, aquatic plants. Uh, aquatic plants can be great, they can be very, very nice, very attractive, but they can also be quite a nuisance. And uh, uh, depending on, on your, I guess, your personal preference as to whether you like the plant that's in your pond or not will depend on uh, what you want to do with it and how you want to manage it. But let's uh, just talk about some of the, the pros and cons with a with, with aquatic plants. Are they good for a pond or do they cause more problems than what they're worth? Well, Scott, let me start off uh, with this. I have yet to manage a, a pond that was unhealthy that didn't have aquatic plants. Uh, let, let, me, let me rephrase that, make that more clear. Every healthy pond has healthy aquatic plants. Aquatic plants that are native to that region, that aren't invasive, that have a diversified community with different species within that community, can be an, an outstanding addition to a pond. But when you have one species of plants that dominates the pond and then invades the pond, then they're a nuisance. Uh, biologically speaking, if a pond has much more than 35 or 40 percent coverage in aquatic plants, that's too much. That begins to affect the fishery. Uh, it harbors the little fish. The larger fish can't get to them to feed like they should. Uh, if you get 60 or 70 percent coverage of a pond, then you're going to have oxygen spikes due to photosynthesis and respiration. That's when fish kills occur. But a good healthy pond is certainly allowable to have good healthy stands of native aquatic plants. If that plant grows in southeastern Australia, and doesn't grow in northwestern Australia, don't take it from the southeast to move it to the northwest and vice versa. One of the problems that we have in the United States is that there's a number of plants that have been transplanted here, mostly through the aquarium trade, that have come from Asia and the Middle East and other places where when they hit our waters, they become totally invasive and they overtake the harmonious blend of diversified native aquatic plants that we have. And when that happens, then we get into the treatment business. That's when we start to uh, bring out herbicides labeled by our EPA for, that are safe to use. But still, I mean, you're dealing with a symptom of a problem. The plants really aren't the problem. The problem is they have all the conditions, all the habitat, the right temperature, the right food, uh, sunlight, and then they're going to grow. So it tracks back also to the design. If you design a pond right, you can have regions where plants will grow and have regions where you can keep them from growing. But a good healthy stand of native plants is a good healthy way to have a pond. They add to it. They add to the food chain. They add to oxygen. You know, they add to the, the habitat in terms of places for small fish to be able to hide to escape being eaten so quickly. So it's good to have plants, but it's not good to have plants that will invade a pond. So it's pretty important to know the species of plants and then choose which ones you want and be selective about it.